Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to crochet a sling bag using block stitch. The materials required are four ply acrylic on any two colors, 75 grams each, four mm crochet hook, stitch marker, scissors, and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, work a chain 32 plus extra two chains. Now we have completed working our 34 chains. For the next round, we are going to work one half double crochet in third chain from the hook. So into the third chain, work one half double crochet. After completing the half double crochet, place marker in top of the first half double crochet. After placing the marker from the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet in next 30 stitches. So one. 2 and 3 like this continue working one half double crochet until you reach the 30th stitch now we have completed our one half double crochet in 30 stitches there will be one loop left alone we are going to work an increase so work three half double crochet into the last stitch After completing the three half double crochet increase, place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. After placing the marker, turn the work. And from the next loop, we are going to work one half double crochet. So work one half double crochet in next 30 loops. So one, two, three, like this continue working until you reach the 30th loop we have completed working one half double crochet in 30 loops there will be one loop left alone into that loop we are going to work an increase so work two half double crochet in increase into the last loop after completing the two half double crochet place marker in first half double crochet increase now we are in the end of our round one. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round one, we will be getting 66 half double crochet. For the next round, we are going to work chain two and into the same chain space, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. After completing the two half double crochet increase, place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. Again, from the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet in next 30 stitches. So one, two, and three. Like this, count it and continue working until you reach the 30th half double crochet. Now we have completed working our 30 half double crochet. From the next chain, we are going to work an increase. So remove the marker and work two half double crochet increase in next three chains. So one and two. After completing the first increase, we are going to place the marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. Into the next chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So one and two. Again into the next chain we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So now we have completed working two half double crochet increase in three stitches. There will be six half double crochet. From the next chain again we are going to work one half double crochet in next 30 stitches. So one, two, Three. Like this, count it and continue working until you reach the 30th half double crochet. Now we have completed our 30 half double crochet. From the next stitch, we are going to work an increase or so remove the marker and work two half double crochet increase in next two stitches. So one and two. 
After completing the first half double crochet increase, place marker in top of the first half double crochet. Into the last chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. Now we are in the end of a round two. Remove the marker. Now we are going to work a slip stitch. In the end of the round two, we will be getting seventy-two half double crochet. For the next round, we are going to work a chain two. Into the same chain space, we will be working one half double crochet. After working the half double crochet, place marker in top of the half double crochet. Into the next chain, we are going to work an increase. So work two half double crochet increase in next chain. From the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet in next thirty stitches. So one. Two and three. So count it and continue working until you reach the thirtieth half double crochet. Now we have completed our thirty half double crochet. From the next chain into the second stitch, we are going to work an increase. So into the first stitch, we are going to work one half double crochet. And into the next chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. Like this, we are going to repeat for two set. So into the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet. And into the next chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. And into the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet. And into the next chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. From the next chain, again we are going to work one half double crochet into the next thirty chain. So one, two, and three. Like this, continue working until you reach thirtieth half double crochet. Now we have completed working our thirty half double crochet from the next chain into the second stitch. We are going to work an increase, so work one half double crochet, and into the second stitch we are going to work an increase, so two half double crochet increase. Again one half double crochet, and again two half double crochet increase. Now remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Now we are in the end of our round three. In the end of our round three, we will be getting seventy-eight half double crochet. For the round four, we are going to work a chain two, and into the same chain space, work one double crochet in back loop. After completing the double crochet, place marker in top of the double crochet. From the next chain into the back loop, we are going to work one double crochet. Again, a double crochet into the back loop. Again, a double crochet. Like this, continue working one double crochet all along the stitches. Now we have completed working our one double crochet in seventy-eight stitches. Now remove the marker and work a slip stitch by adding a new color yarn. After slip stitching, work a chain one for the next round. So for the round five, we are going to work a chain one using white color yarn, and into the space we are going to work one single crochet. So in between double crochet the space, we are going to work one single crochet and place marker in top of the first single crochet. After placing the marker, work a chain two. And skip three double crochet below. So we are not going to include the chain two. From the next double crochet, one, two, and three. Into the space between the two double crochet, we are going to work one single crochet. Again, work a chain two, and again we are going to skip three double crochet below. So one, two, and three. 
in between the double crochet space we are going to work one single crochet again work a chain 2 we are going to skip 3 double crochet below 1 2 and 3 and in between the double crochets we are going to work one single crochet continue the same pattern throughout the round 5 i will be meeting you in the end of the round 5 Now we are in the end of a round 5. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Here we are going to work a slip stitch by inserting the other color yarn. So work a slip stitch by inserting the next color yarn. After slip stitching, into the chain 2 space again we are going to work a slip stitch. For round 6 we will be working in chain 2 space. So, arc a chain 3. After completing the chain 3, place marker in top of the chain 3. And into the chain 2 space, again we are going to work 2 double crochet. This chain 3 will be considered as our first double crochet. So, from the next chain 2 space, we are going to work 3 double crochet. So, first double crochet, the second double crochet, and the third one. And again into the chain 2 space we are going to work 3 double crochet. So repeat the pattern throughout the round 6. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 6. Now we are in the end of a round 6. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch inserting the white color yarn. After completing the slip stitch for the next round, we are going to work a chain 1 and in the space we are going to work one single crochet. So in between the chain 3 and the double crochet, work one single crochet. In top of the single crochet, place marker and work a chain 2. Skip 3 double crochet below and work one single crochet. Again work a chain 2 and skip 3 double crochet below and work one single crochet in space. Again. Work a chain 2, skip 3 double crochet below and work 1 single crochet in space. Like this, repeat working the same pattern throughout the round 7. Now we are in the end of a round 7, slip stitch by adding the next color yarn. So remove the marker and work a slip stitch by adding the next color yarn. After slip stitching into the chain 2 space again work a slip stitch. After slip stitching for the round 8 we are going to work chain 3 and 2 double crochet in chain 2 space. Chain 3 will be considered as our first double crochet. We are going to place marker in top of the chain 3. In this round we will be working in chain 2 space so into the next chain 2 space work 3 double crochet. And again into the next chain 2 space work 3 double crochet. Like this continue working throughout the round 8. Block stitch is the 2 round repetition pattern. So repeat round 6 and round 7 up to round 22. Now we are in the end of a round 22. So here we are going to slip stitch in top of the chain 3. So in top of chain 3 work a slip stitch. For the next round, we are going to work a chain 1 and into the same chain space, we are going to work one single crochet. And in top of the single crochet, place marker. From the next chain, work one single crochet all along the stitches.
Now we are in the end of a round 23. Remove the marker and work a single crochet instead of a slip stitch. Place marker in top of the single crochet. This single crochet will be the first single crochet of next round. So for the next 3 rounds continue working one single crochet and for the slip stitch work a single crochet. Now we are in the end of a round 26. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Work a chain one and cut the extra yarn out. Weave in all the extra yarn using a blunt needle. Now we are going to work a handle for the back. So select four chains in both the corners. So in both the corners we are going to mark four chains. Make a slip knot and insert the slip knot to the first chain that we have marked. So remove the marker and insert through the first chain and work a chain 3. After completing the chain 3, work 1 double crochet in next 3 stitches. So into the next 3 stitches we are going to work 1 double crochet. Now for the next round we are going to work a chain 3 and turn the project and into the back loop we are going to work 1 double crochet. After completing the chain 3, skip the first chain and into the next chain back loop, we are going to work 1 double crochet. So skip the first chain, into the next back loop, we are going to work 1 double crochet. Again into the next back loop, we are going to work 1 double crochet and into the next turning chain, we are going to work 1 double crochet. Again work a chain 3, turn the work. And skip the first chain into the next three back loops we are going to work one double crochet so continue the same pattern for your record length of the handle after completing the handle we can attach in the next corner. So remove the first marker and insert the loop through the first chain. Remove the marker and insert the loop through the first chain. And now work a chain 1 and work a slip stitch. After completing the slip stitch, into the next 3 stitches, we are going to work a slip stitch. After slip stitching, work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn out. Weave in all the extra yarns using a blunt needle. So friends, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, subscribe it and click the bell icon for the notification. Stay tuned. Take care and bye-bye.